Never Stop Learning Week 306. We're going to take a quick look at the Path Eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so the Path Eraser tool has been around for a really long time, and I just heard about it maybe three weeks ago. So I figured I'd show you guys how this works. Now, the first thing you want to do is select your object. All right, now that I have a selection, I want to locate the tool. And you could find this tool in the same stack as the pencil tool. So over here on the left in the tools panel. Once you find the pencil tool, just click and hold, go down to the bottom, find path eraser tool, and then release. Once you release, you'll have the tool activated and it's ready to go. Now, when I first tried to use this, I thought I would just click and drag, but nothing happened. Then I tried to click drag with a little wiggle, nothing happened. Now, the way this actually works is you just have to follow along the path. All right, so I'm going to start over here at the top at the 12 o'clock position. I'm going to do a click and drag. Coming over here towards the 3 o'clock and release. All right, so I've expanded my shape, but I've also created an open path, and I've gotten rid of that entire segment. All right, I still have a selection here. So I'm going to just come over here to the left, click and drag, then release. Down over here at the bottom. Click drag, follow the path, and release. All right, now I'm doing this to create three independent paths. All right, so this is no longer a group. They don't have anything to do with each other. I'm gonna undo that a couple times to bring back the ellipse. Now, I wanna compare that to the eraser tool, the one I've actually heard about before. I'm gonna click and drag, and check that out. We get a completely different result. So there you have it, folks, that's a quick look at the Path Eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.